this animal is called a hippopotamus. Two or more are called hippopotamuses or hippopotami. They live in the swamps and marshes of Africa. Hippopotamuses sometimes weigh as much as 8,000 pounds, which is 3,628 kilograms. Hippopotamuses are huge, thick-skinned animals. They have enormous mouths and powerful grinding teeth. They can travel across land or water. It is possible for a hippopotamus to remain underwater 10 to 12 minutes at a time. Hippo reads, H reads, Humphrey Hippopotamus was very happy. He was the kind of person who always waved and smiled at everyone. Humphrey Hippopotamus liked everybody and everybody liked him. Wherever he went, he waved and spoke to his Hippopota friends and it seemed that everyone who met him was a friend to Humphrey Hippopotamus. One day, Humphrey Hippopotamus was chosen for a very important job. Some of the little hippopotamuses lived too far from school to walk. They needed to come on a bus. A group of parents got together and said, We will buy a bus for our little hippopotamuses. That's a good idea, someone said. Shall we call it a hippopotabus? Everyone laughed and laughed. Yes, they said, and we will let Humphrey Hippopotamus drive it. He is the friendliest person in town. The little hippopotamuses all liked Humphrey Hippopotamus. So Humphrey Hippopotamus had a new job. How careful he was. He did not want to get any dents in the new hippopotamus, so he drove very carefully. He went very slowly around the corners. He watched where he was going. One day, one of the little hippopotamuses said to Humphrey Hippopotamus, Humphrey Hippopotamus, you never wave at us anymore. Don't you still like us? Humphrey Hippopotamus said, Why, yes, of course I still like you. You know I like you. But when I drive the bus, I have to be very careful. But you could wave to us, Humphrey Hippopotamus. Not while I'm driving. I have to think about my driving all the time. The little hippopotamuses look sad. Well, we don't like it when you don't smile and wave, Humphrey Hippopotamus. I don't think a bus driver can smile and wave as he drives, but I still like you, said Humphrey Hippopotamus. Please try to understand. The next day, all the hippopotamuses waved, but Humphrey Hippopotamus did not wave back. The next day, only six hippopotamuses waved but Humphrey Hippopotamus did not wave back. The next day, only five little hippopotamuses waved. Humphrey Hippopotamus noticed that he was not getting many waves, but he still did not wave back. The next day, only two hippopotamuses waved. They didn't wave very hard because they were sure Humphrey Hippopotamus wouldn't wave back. And he didn't wave back. The next day, only one hippopotamus waved. The next day, no one waved. No one waved at Humphrey Hippopotamus. He was still trying to drive very carefully, but he was so unhappy, he was not sure he was driving very well. No one had waved at him. Humphrey Hippopotamus couldn't believe it. Humphrey Hippopotamus's best friend was Harry Hippopotamus. As Humphrey Hippopotamus talked with Harry Hippopotamus that afternoon, he said, Harry Hippopotamus, no one waved at me today. Really? No one? No one. Harry Hippopotamus thought a little bit before he answered. 
Yesterday I saw one hippopotamus wave at you. Yes, Humphrey Hippopotamus answered. The day before I saw two little hippopotamuses wave at you. Yes, the day before that, five little hippopotamuses waved at me. The day before that, six little hippopotamuses waved. That's right, said Humphrey Hippopotamus, but today no one waved. I think I know why, Harry said. You do? Did they tell you they don't like me anymore, Humphrey Hippopotamus asked. No, they like you very much. Then why don't they wave at me? Do you ever wave at them? No, but I'm the bus driver. Do you like to have them wave at you? Sure I do. It keeps me from being lonely. It makes me think they like me. Do you like them? Of course I do. Do you know they are sometimes lonely? Humphrey Hippopotamus looked surprised. I guess so. I hadn't thought much about it. What helps you when you're lonely? Harry Hippopotamus asked Humphrey Hippopotamus. It helps to have someone speak, smile or wave at me. And you never wave back, asked Harry Hippopotamus. You know I never wave when I'm driving the Hippopot bus, said Humphrey Hippopotamus. Have you ever tried, asked Harry Hippopotamus. No, I want to be a careful driver. You are a careful driver, Humphrey Hippopotamus, but perhaps you could wave a little and still be a careful driver. I know you could smile while you drive. Yes, I could smile, Humphrey Hippopotamus agreed. Maybe I could wave too. I could wave when I first start out and then pay attention to my driving. I think I'll try that, said Humphrey Hippopotamus. The next morning, Humphrey Hippopotamus stopped the hippopotamus for all the hot hippopotamuses. At, as each one got on, he smiled and waved. Oh, good morning, Humphrey Hippopotamus, they said as they waved back at him. They all looked so happy. Humphrey Hippopotamus certainly felt better. I can do it, Humphrey Hippopotamus said. I can smile and wave and still drive carefully if I try. Humphrey Hippopotamus did this and all the little hippopotamuses smiled and waved too. Everybody was much happier all day long. Why did Humphrey Hippopotamus have so many friends? Yes, because he was kind and always smiled and waved at everyone. What very important job was Humphrey Hippopotamus chosen to do? Yes, he was chosen to drive the Hippopotamus. Was Humphrey Hippopotamus a safe, careful driver? Yes, yes, he was a very careful driver, wasn't he? Why did his friend soon stop waving at Humphrey Hippopotamus? Yes, they didn't wave because he wasn't waving to them and they thought, thought he didn't like them. How did he feel when no one waved or smiled? Yes, he felt sad and lonely and thought perhaps they didn't like him. What did Humphrey Hippopotamus decide to do? Yes, he decided to wave when the hippopotamus first got on the bus and then he continued to drive carefully. Was he happier? Oh yes, much happier. Who else was happy again? That's right, all the little hippopotami. How can we be like Humphrey Hippopotamus in making others happy? Yes, we can smile, we can wave, we can be friendly and we can be kind, can't we? Will this make us happy too? Yes, it certainly will. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the huh sound? Hold. Can you hear the huh sound 
in the word hold? Yes, hold has the ha huh sound. Have. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word have? Yes, have has the ha huh sound. Word. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word word? No, word doesn't have the ha huh sound. Vote. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word vote? No, vote doesn't have the ha huh sound. Hair. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word hair? No, hair doesn't have the ha huh sound. Move. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word move? No, move doesn't have the ha huh sound. Hill. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word hill? Yes, hill has the ha huh sound. Hatch. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word hatch? Yes, hatch has the ha huh sound. Help. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word help? Yes, help has the ha huh sound. Win. Can you hear the ha huh sound in the word win? No, win doesn't have the ha huh sound. Listen as I read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? Comb your hair each morning. Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? Comb your hair each morning. That's right, hair has the ha huh sound. Mother chicken will hatch the eggs. Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? Mother chicken will hatch the eggs. That's right, hatch has the ha huh sound. To help each other is a good rule. Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? To help each other is a good rule. That's right, help has the ha huh sound. Do you hunt for your shoe every day? Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? Do you hunt for your shoe every day? That's right, hunt has the ha huh sound. Reading is easy, not hard. Can you find the word that has the ha huh sound? Reading is easy, not hard. That's right, hard has the ha huh sound. Let's blend these sounds. Ha, a, ha, a, hey. Ha, a, ha, a, ha. Ha, a, ha, a, ha. Ha, e, ha, e, he. Ha, a, ha, a, he. Ha, I, ha, I, hi. Ha, e, ha, e, he. Now let's blend these sounds into words. Ha, a, ha, a. Hey, hey. Ha, a, r, ha, a, r, hair, hair. Ha, a, t, ha, a, t, hate, hate. Ha, a, n, d, ha, a, n, d. Hand, hand. Ha, at, ha, at. Hat, hat. Ha, ad, ha, ad. Had, had. Ha, a, r, d. Ha, a, r, d. Hard, hard. Ha, e, ha, e, he, he. 
h e r h e r here here h e t h e t heat heat h e n h e n hen hen h e e j h e e j hedge hedge h e i h e i hi hi h e i m h e i m him him let's learn these sight words sight words are words that you can't sound out you just recognize them the 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 that 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 there 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 this 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 let's look at them again the 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 that 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 there 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 this 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 now it's your turn tell me what word you see that's right you see the word the now this word what word do you see that's right the word that now tell me what word you see that's right the word there now tell me what word you see that's right the word this Set your affections on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2a God is not limited as we are. He will keep all of his promises to us. He takes care of his children. Everywhere Jesus went, great crowds of people followed to hear him speak. I would want to go hear Jesus if he were in our country, wouldn't you? I don't blame them for wanting to hear Jesus. Today, when many people want to hear a great preacher who is in town, a big building will be rented, a civic centre, a football stadium or a huge auditorium. Jesus had no big buildings like this in which to preach. Jesus came to ordinary people and he spoke to them as he walked from one place to another or as he visited their homes. There were no big restaurants to provide meals as there are today. People brought their own food, borrowed from other people, or went to the village to buy food. One time, Jesus was in a desert place. That is a place out in the country where there were no houses or people. Many people followed Jesus that day. There were thousands of people, 5,000 men, as well as women and children. That is a lot of people. Most churches could not hold anywhere near 5,000 people. The people liked listening to Jesus and they stayed and stayed and stayed. When the day was almost gone, all the people were still listening to Jesus and there was no food for them. Jesus' disciples became concerned. They said to him, This is a desert place and the time is late. You need to send the people away that they may go into the village and buy food for themselves. Maybe the disciples were a little bit hungry themselves. Jesus said to the disciples, they don't need to go, you can give them some food. One of the disciples said to Jesus, shall we go and buy food to feed all this crowd? We only have a little money, we cannot buy enough so that everyone may receive even a little bread. Jesus said, go and see among the crowd of people how much food some of them may have brought. One disciple found a little boy who had brought a small lunch. 
The disciples said to Jesus, Master, a boy has brought his lunch. It has, has in it only five small loaves and two small fishes. I know it's not much, but it's all there is. Jesus said, Bring it to me. The little lunch, perhaps wrapped in a clean cloth, was brought to Jesus. Everyone was so hungry, and it was such a little food. Jesus said to the people, Everyone sit down on the grass. But that could make the people think Jesus intended to feed them. Could Jesus possibly feed so many from such a little bit of food? The disciples watched breathlessly. Everyone was seated now. Everyone was waiting to see what Jesus would do. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fishes. He looked up to heaven. He blessed the food and then he broke it up into pieces. He kept breaking and he kept breaking and there were more and more pieces. Someone bought a basket and it was filled. Jesus gave it to the disciples and they passed it out to the people. More fish and more bread. Still, Jesus kept breaking it into pieces and still there was food left. Jesus had performed another miracle. He had made enough food for everyone from the boy's small lunch. Everyone ate and was filled. There was even food left over. They passed the baskets around for what was left and there were 12 baskets full. What a wonderful saviour we have. If we are hungry, he can give us food. If we need anything, he can provide it. We should always be satisfied with the things that God has given us, knowing that he will keep his promise to provide for our needs. Matthew 14, verse 15 to 21. Mark 6, 32 to 34. Luke 9, 10 to 17. And John 6, 1 to 14. Character objective. Flexible. To know that God changes things through others. God can change things to best take care of us, but he never changes his promises. We must set our affections on things above, not on earthly things that can be changed by others. A Christian must always remember that God will help him in any situation. If we trust God and do our part, he will make things right for us. Colossians 3 verse 2a Set your affection on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2a Set your affection on things above. Colossians 3 verse 2a Set your affection on things above. Say it with me. Colossians 3 verse 2a Set your affection on things above. One more time. Colossians 3 verse 2a Set your affection on things above. Hippo reads H reads <laughs>